A little while ago, I made a video about how to bond new concrete to old concrete. And as it turns out, bonding new concrete to old concrete is a very important subject to people because that video got in and around a million views. And it's definitely my number one most viewed video on my YouTube channel. And I guess I should do a follow-up, right? A lot of people seem to be really interested in the subject. And there, there were a lot of comments and a lot of suggestions and a lot of really useful information in the comments thread for that video. Uh, but I kind of want to talk about some of those things in more detail because it seems like it's a pretty deep subject that people want to know more about. And it's hard to provide that information on the hobbyist level because I think you might be underappreciating just how technically complex the world of concrete is. And it is incredibly <laughs> technically comp complex. Um, and I want to show you some of the things that we talked about in that video. And I'm going to do, make a series of videos because it's way too much to do in one take. But I'm going to talk about some of the different things that were, were talked about in the comments threads. Like I talked about a PVA based slurry, which is a, a white glue and Portland cement slurry. And you paint that on to your old concrete before you put your new concrete on. And that does work. It's a great, it's a great solution for bonding new concrete to old concrete for some very specific applications. But uh, because there's so many people viewing it, let's talk more about the different applications so that you can take away a little bit more information. Like we talked about in the comments threads there, uh, acrylic fortifier, that's the thin one, but kind of like milk, versus the PVA, or white glue, and that's the thicker one. And that's the same with this product here really thick but there was a, a lot of other stuff like and here's another one SBR latex any any of the latex bonding agents that have an R on the label it's probably SBR latex and I mean I'm not a concrete scientist by any means uh, actually but I think there are some on YouTube there's a guy named Tyler Lay who I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he is. So if you want to know what the difference between acrylic latex is and SBR latex, he might be a good guy to try to talk to. Uh, for me, I just want to talk about the practical applications. That's what I am. I'm a swimming pool builder. I've worked with dozens of different concrete applications, decorative ones, stuff that has to survive freeze and thaws, things that's constantly submerged in water or even worse things that are submerged sometimes and not others. Like there's, there's a lot to know for sure. So when I get through these videos, I think you're going to have a lot better of an idea how to bond new concrete to old concrete. But again, I do caution you that this is really something that you want to get the professionals involved in. If you're just patching up a little hole in your driveway, in these videos somewhere is going to be some good information for you. But if you have a problem with the foundation of your home, by all means, please talk to a specialist about that. So be sure to tune back in, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all these different experiments that I'm going to do about bonding new concrete to old concrete.